time again, playing desktop dungeons. Specifically, this time, I'm looking at doing the Crusader Silver Challenge, which is a giant pain in the fucking ass. Um, essentially, I'll, I'll run through some things. So, the Crusader um, is immune to poison, mana burn, and curses. It's all really nice. Um, poison means you don't regenerate when you health when you explore. Mana burn, if you get mana burned, your mana goes to zero, and you don't regenerate mana when you explore. And curses mean that you don't resist things. If you've got resistances and you're cursed, your resistances don't apply, which is less relevant for this dungeon. Uh, the Martyr ability here, Extra Altar in Dungeon, is completely irrelevant for this bonus challenge, because there's only one altar and it's fixed. Um, momentum! Okay, so you have a bonus. It starts at 0%. Every time you kill something, it increases by 15%. Every time you level up, or you don't kill something in a hit, or you cast Fireball, um, it halves. And that bonus just applies to damage straight, so you can make a lot of damage very easily. Um, this particular challenge is basically just a huge clusterfuck of things that poison, mana burn, and curse in lots of tight, narrow passages, and a boss that has a thousand health. It's really unpleasant. I'm going with Orc, because base damage, with the Crusader's momentum bonus, really, really good. Um, I only get to prepare blacksmith items, I'm preparing the bear mace. So the reason I'm doing that is because the 10% bonus damage is sort of redundant on top of um, the damage that the Crusader already does. There's nothing with resistances and striking last in combat is really bad in this dungeon. Shield and sword are bad. The Slayer Wand I've tried a bit. It's kind of handy because there will always be like a level 8, level 9 enemy in this dungeon that you, you just won't want to expend the resources to kill. It's a giant pain in the ass. Um, and being able to slay on that and get the 9 XP is really handy. You'd like, you, can, you essentially get an extra piece of popcorn at the end. But I'm picking the bear mace because the thing that I've been having a problem with is doing enough damage to the boss and an extra 25% of my base damage every time I punch him might be a tiny bit good. Like that's, it's essentially this bit better. Um, that will however make it a bit of a pain to just sort of whack dudes in general. So my first goal is to find a level 2 enemy that I can kill and kill it. Ideally, that enemy is going to be a Wraith or a Snake. I don't really want to fight a Naga or a Corrosive Slime at level 1 because I can't avoid them poisoning me or weakening me. Um, but I'll do it if I have to. It's, my, it's much better to leave guys alive. Like I, I need to have a million bits of popcorn left at the end of this dungeon. Um, but the thing is, like, this isn't a class that has, like, the Rogue's ability or a Berserker's ability to just say, fuck it, I'm gonna fight a level 2 enemy right at the start. I need... Like, so that's a, that's a suboptimal one. Um, I need a Glyph to be able to, to do this. Um, there are several Glyphs that will do. Oh, that was a misclick. Whatever. Looks like this wasn't gonna be a good run anyway. There are several glyphs that will do. Um, useless. Useless. But hopefully I will actually find one eventually. This is the reason why these challenges are... This is my target, by the way. This is why these challenges are so goddamn frustrating. Yeah, okay. Sometimes you just get a bad roll, and you don't get what you need, and it's really bad in this one because, like, it's such a... That is not one of the glyphs that will do what I want. <laughs> um, this dungeon is just such a... maze. Okay, that is one of the glyphs that is really handy. Um, useless for the boss, because he has Retaliate Fireball, but that just means I'll convert it for the boss. Now I need to find an appropriate level 2 target. Um, now, 
these plants, uh, these ones just kill you, basically. They do 999 damage and have first strike. All the plants give you no experience. Um, but I can kill them with a fireball. See? These ones have first strike and corrosive, which uh, every stack of corrosive you get makes you take extra damage every time something punches you, so I don't want to fight them. Um, I can also fireball them. But everything that has corrosive, when you kill it, leaves like a little patch of acid behind that corrodes you if you walk into it. So, they're also a pain in the ass. Um, basically, every other plant just poisons, um, curses, or mana burns, and as a crusader I'm immune to that, so I'm just killing them to get them out of the way. So this enemy, I can probably kill. Oops, my man momentum is zero. might take a little work. Can I get two mana regen anywhere? No. There we go. Right. Now I want to do that again. Like, you have to be super goddamn greedy. That is an excellent glyph for this level. So let's me do that. Maybe. Okay, let's see, let's see. I can survive... No, there's no way that's gonna happen. But I can kill this. Now I can kill this. Basically, I just want to kill something a level higher than me all the time. At least, if I can go for something higher, then I will. Every time. But it's... you know, it's it's more I don't want to spend any resources doing it. Um, I might spend a mana pot, depending on... what items I... F what uh, glyphs I find. Because mana won't be very useful against the final boss of this dungeon, unless I get certain glyphs. Um, in particular, Burned Eraz is not a glyph that is very useful against him. He has Retaliate Fireball, and um, using Burned Eraz reduces your momentum. Unless you get a kill with it. Yeah. None of these items are very good. There's Pact Maker. That's the only altar that spawns, by the way, Pact Maker. That is a good item. Do I get it? Maybe. Anything else I'm likely to want? Probably not. I'll hold off on it. It won't be very useful right now. And there is a, at least one other item that I would consider better. Can I kill this? 17, I do another 8, puts it on 9, and I put 2 tiles and it regenerates. 6, 2... Yeah, I don't think I can. Um, the way you know how much an enemy regenerates is it's just its level for every tile. So, as a level 4 enemy, that... Ugh, not ideal, but I'll do it. Um, yeah, enemies just regenerate their level in, in health every uh, tile you reveal. But while they're burned, it's one less than their health. Burned enemies regenerate less. That's not very useful either. Okay, 
so that was pretty standard. Um, <laughs> but that's good, that means I'm at the point where I can kill level 5 enemies with exactly the right setup. There's the boss! And now you can see why this dungeon is a giant pain in the fucking ass. Because you need to punch him a million times to kill him. And he corrodes or weakens you every time you do. Um, so now I know I can I can kill level 5s. Um, these guys could be a target. In fact, I can just... Yeah, just drop that guy right now. Um, and why not? That's probably enough. But I could probably kill that guy too. It's a good glyph. It's a really good glyph. Oh, there's the mana. I was wondering where it would show up. Okay, so with sidestep, I am ready to set my sights really high. Can I kill like this? I can kill that. Can I kill this? Maybe. It's my momentum at. It's at seventeen percent, so I'm gonna lose half of that. So not that much. Half of 17% is very nearly 10. We'll say it's 10%, so I'll lose 1.6 damage. Um, so 23 plus 21 is 44, so I'll do 44 total damage, leaving 22 damage behind. And my fireballs do 12 damage each, so just enough. I've got that right. It'd be better if I could punch it into a... But... Alright, and now I need one tile. Done. Um, so the two corrode stacks were the trade-off there for killing something that, that many levels higher than me. Um... So I've got a bunch of good glyphs, but I haven't got THE good glyph. What I really want is Piss Off. Um, which probably sounds really odd, because Burned Arras is kind of a- oh, for fuck's sake. Burned Arras is kind of like a better Piss Off in many aspects. Um, except that uh, Piss Off doesn't reset momentum, and Piss Off doesn't trigger Retaliate Fireball. So with Piss Off, I could just- I could actually use my mana to hurt him. Um, without it, I don't have much. Like, getting there would have gotten me an extra hit, but the extra two base damage is more useful. Sidestep will get me another couple of hits, so that, that's going to be okay. And this wall may be alright, but probably too expensive compared to Sidestep. So just drop the Endus Wall, like for its effect, compared to Sidestep. Sidestep is one more hit. Endus Wall with like two or three more casts is maybe one more hit. Vandaraz is useless. So I'm just going to have to use the Bear Mace to um, do my extra damage. But that might be enough. Right. Can I kill this guy? Eight percent. So I'm, I'm not actually going to lose much. I'm going to lose four percent of twenty-three, which is like a twenty-fifth. So like less less than one damage. Um. So say one. Sixty-one damage leaves him on thirteen, which is. I'm miscounting here somewhere and I don't know where. But fortunately. Because I've still got the second fireball. Okay. Are there any other, like, spectacular targets like that? Like the level 8 here that won't cause me any problems? Let's see. Um. Let's do some more maths. Yay, 4%. So 38, 37 is. Yeah? Stamage 28. 
so I'll lose one damage. A bit more than one, we'll say two. 38 and 36. 38 and 36 is um, 74. 74 off of 122 leaves about 48 damage, if I'm right. Yeah, 48 damage. Which is two burned arouses at least. So I probably can't quite to kill. It's 57 damage. What's well, half of 57? Uh, about 28. 28 plus 57 is more than my health. Okay. I could. Nah, it's it's not enough that I can end a swall my way through it either. Um, this is the point where I'll start taking the Scholar's Pact, though. I did that completely wrong. I'm supposed to press that button first. Um, GG. <laughs> Basically, I'm really bad at this. Mm, handy, if I can get Ender Swall. Actually, with the Bear Mace, that'll be really good. Oh good, I'm buying that right now. I'm going to be really sad if the Martyr's Wraps show up, by the way, because um, the Martyr's Wraps are my, like, absolute best item for this, if I can find them. So there's a target. Um, the Martyr's Wraps make me corrode on hit, and given how many times I need to hit that boss, the corrosion is, is a really big deal. I would really like a spell. Should be... Thanks, game. Thanks. Really like a useful spell. That's a maybe. Actually, maybe that's a yes. I'm doing 10 damage a pop. Mm, I'd prefer to kill him with only one hit. Oh, for fuck's sake, where is... Mm, mm, is this restart? I think this is a restart. It's a pity, because the stone heart would be really handy, but I'd explore too much. Wait, what is... okay. Like, that's probably enough to get a kill, blood to power is useless. Be able to corrode enemies by hitting them into the acid pools left behind by ah there we go. Does too much damage to me. It's the problem. Uh, so the problem is that knockback damage happens bef after the enemy's damage, so it kills me before um, I kill it. <coughs> then think, wait, what was sufficient? So I'm trying to I'm trying to swap things that are blocking um, paths out of the way. That's what that's about. I mean, I've got the mana room as well, right?
uh, can be useful. Uh, it's not blocking. It's gonna be... Oh, there you are. Risk it. Risk it. No. Uh, no, wait, no. No, punching him does kill him, so... Bam. The extra experience point. You know, that, that really adds up, guys. It really does add up. I'm not actually joking. I mean, I am joking, but not... Not too much. Okay. completely terrible? That's completely terrible. So the blue bead. That's almost worth getting now. Yeah, I'll do it. It's cheap. Um, so the idea with that is that I can build up enough mana to cast Helmer from killing Popcorn while I'm fighting the boss. That's the fundamental idea behind that purchase. Can I kill this guy you now? I can, I imagine. There's only one stack of weaken, which is probably okay for killing something two levels above me in this dungeon. Shitlord of a dungeon. <sighs> do I get more corrosion? Guess I do. Targets, unless I want to go for those, which I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I'm pretty sure this game, like, I don't think this game actually generates the dungeon ahead of time. I'm, I'm pretty certain it watches what you're doing and figures out what would be least convenient. 
it's not them. See? So this is the this is the phase of this dungeon where you are trying to find. Oh, there you are. So this time I'm not a complete idiot. Um, this is the phase of the dungeon where you actually try to find enemies of the appropriate level to kill. Which is surprisingly difficult. So let's work this out. I punch him, he's on 41. And then I fireball him, then I pick up some mana, and then I fireball him again. Does that work? No, not quite. But hopefully in the process of doing this, I'll get enough health to just punch him flat out. I'm pretty sure I can keep him down. See. Or maybe I'll just run out of regen spots. Might have been good to find earlier. Uh, I decided to check that. Um, Kim, maybe. Yeah. So this is this is kind of the tricky part. <laughs> I want like a metric crap ton of enemies still alive while I go up against the boss, but I don't really do that until sort of near the end of level 7. Um, It will have, if I swap this, it will have just enough health to survive. Son of a bitch. So much for being clever. Targets. These guys suck. This guy also sucks. You want to fight anyone? It's not really okay to pick up this many stacks of this stuff in a normal, like, dungeon. It's just that it's basically impossible to avoid in this dungeon, so, you know? Alright. Alright.
That. That's kind of important, so I'm pretty glad I found that. It's useful to find. Pretty much when I start punching the boss. It will kill me in a hit if I attack him right now. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this corrosion shit because it is super frustrating. I think it's probably better to start with a blank slate for corrosion against the boss than to save my anti-corrosion potion in a boss fight. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, there's more to explore. This was a mistake. there's more to explore. There's no point to, um, saving Black Space for the boss fight because he regenerates stupidly fast. slowed ones? No. So this is kind of what I'm talking about in terms of um, enemies that you never kill. Like, I'm never going to be able to kill that. I have 79 corrosion. Unfortunately, that removes it all. Uh, okay. Things to buy. Crystal ball. Useless. Probably. What do I have on hand? There's not much else to spend it on, is there? Buy another one of those so I can juice mid-boss fight. I think I'll buy the Tri-Sword. Useless. Only useful is conversion fodder. Again, conversion fodder. I can afford both of those, I think. 8 and 16 is 24? Yeah, I can. <sighs> eh? I mean, it'll get me... It'll get me another cast of Helmer every time I level. That'll get me... Two... Chunks of mana? Which is probably better in terms of... Probably gonna forget this. Um, regret this. I won't forget it. I remember exactly what I'm doing. Okay. And this is where the fun starts. Now I want to level. So, six experience. I could keep punching him into that, but it does less damage. 10% less. What's my base? 
Ice is actually not that great now. My base damage is 58, so it does 5 less damage to punch him into that than it does to punch him into a wall. That said, I might kill it. Oh, interesting. Um, what do I do at this point? Do I level up? No. Kill that. And, like, I don't know. That. I can't see, but I'm deep in thought. So the, the basic game plan here is to get to around about 100. And then punch him. Can I level up again? Need 15 experience. I'm not sure I can. Ten more. Two, four, six, seven. I need to kill one of the big guys. Ugh. I might be able to get away with it. That's how you do it. Um, I'm pretty glad with that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That that challenge is a giant fucking pain in the rear. Uh, this is the last silver challenge I had to do. Um, I'm pretty glad it's over. <laughs> so now the uh, two big things I've got left. Um, There we go, achievement unlocked, if you can see that. I don't actually know if that shows. <laughs> this is either a party trick or something majorly troubling. Um, so now I still need to do all the frigging gold challenges. Yay! Um, as well as this one. Snakes! Uh, which is a dungeon with nine bosses. And then when I really want to punch myself in the junk, I can try to do this. Um, it's called Dark Souls, and really, like... Like, Dark Souls is just kind of pussyfooting around. Dark Souls is solitaire compared to this. Um... <laughs> So I think I think that's it for now. I think I'll give myself a rest. <laughs>